In this video, we will show how to measure transepithelial electrical resistance, or TIR, to evaluate the epithelial barrier integrity in an air-liquid interface, or ALI culture. We will use an epithelial volt ohm meter, or EVOM, from World Precision Instruments to illustrate the procedure. To initiate a TIR measurement, first place the EVOM and probe in a biosafety cabinet. Plug the probe into the EVOM by means of the modular connector. Sterilize the probe by submerging the green prongs in 70% isopropanol, or IPA, for 15 minutes. In the meantime, prepare the ALI cultures by removing the medium from the basal compartment. Add 200 microliters of calcium and magnesium-free PBS to the apical compartment, and 500 microliters of PBS to the basal compartment. For best results, Complete your ALI culture preparation just before probe sterilization is complete, within 1 to 2 minutes. Also prepare a blank transwell control by adding 200 microliters of PBS to the apical compartment and 500 microliters of PBS to the basal compartment of an unused transwell. After the probe is sterilized, turn on the EVOM and set the function to ohms. Remove the probe from the IPA and allow most of the IPA to drip off the prongs. Wash the probe by submerging the prongs in sterile PBS, making sure the level of PBS is below the level of IPA sterility on the prongs. Perform a tear measurement on an ALI culture by inserting the long prong of the probe into the break in the transwell hanger, lowering it until it touches the bottom of the well. The short prong of the probe will rest just above the surface of the ALI culture. Be sure to keep the probe at a 90 degree angle while taking the measurement. The ohm values on the EVOM screen will steadily drop. Wait until the values level off for a moment before recording the value. Move the probe to the next ALI culture and continue collecting the ohm values for the entire plate. Once all the ohm values are recorded, submerge the probe back in IPA. Remove the PBS from the apical and basal compartments and add 500 microliters of the cell culture medium back to each culture's basal compartment. Return the ALI cultures to 37 degrees Celsius. If switching between plates, ready the next plate for measurement, wash the probe in PBS, and continue to collect the next tier readings. Perform one final measurement on the blank transwell control, returning the probe to IPA once complete. Remove the PBS from the apical and basal compartments of the blank transwell and store it dry in a separate plate, ready for use for subsequent tier measurements. Finally, remove the probe from the IPA, allowing the excess IPA to drip off the prongs. Disconnect the probe from the EVOM and allow it to air dry and return the probe to its case. To generate tier values, subtract the ohm value of the blank transwell control from the ohm value of an ALI culture. Then, multiply the blank corrected ohm value of the ALI culture by the culture's area in centimeters. This will generate the culture's tier value in ohms times centimeter squared. Tier measurements can be repeatedly performed without causing damage to the cell culture. You can conduct a weekly tier time course to describe the barrier function throughout the process of the ALI culture differentiation. The readings can also be conducted before the culture is evaluated by endpoint characterization studies like electrophysiology or immunocytochemistry. To learn how to perform immunocytochemistry staining of epithelial cells at ALI cultures, explore the link in the description below. For information about ALI cultures, visit stemcell.com.